Ohio men's hoops played its third game in five days to Convo Saturday, hosting the Western Michigan Broncos, who were winless in the MAC. But the Broncos tried to play spoiler. They led for much of the opening half, fueled by the three ball, but Mark Sears gave the Bobcats a one-point advantage at the half with a three of his own right before the buzzer. The Bobcats' defense tightened up in the second half, limiting the Broncos to just 30% from the field. I say we really, we were focused on their three-point shooting because coach told us before the game that they really get their shots up from the three, but they, he said they will shoot it bad. They do shoot a bad percentage, so we really focused on that, just making every shot a hard shot for them. Yeah, and definitely just amping up our pressure. Um, they were pretty comfortable, yeah, to start out. And like we talked about that, made some adjustments, and, you know, they, they got some good players. So it's like they're going to hit shots, and like, like we always talk about, like we're going to get their best shot. Coming out of the locker room, it was the Jason Carter Show. Carter accumulated 12 points in just the first six minutes after having 11 points in the first half. Jason Carter has been around college basketball for quite a while, but the fifth year is still hitting new milestones. On Saturday, Carter hit a career-high 27 points and grabbed 10 rebounds to help the Bobcats to a big victory over Western Michigan. It's just all credit to my teammates. They were getting the, the ball when I was open. Um, and, you know, we just, that second half stretch, you know, just put my head down and, you know, it was just really aggressive. And, again, just got great teammates. It allows me to get open and get those shots. The Bobcats rolled to a 77-64 victory, upping their record to 19-3 and 10-1 in the MAC. Their best start in program history through 22 games. Yeah, I think you know it's awesome that our guys have done this. Um, it wasn't our goal to have the best record in the history, but I think it's a really cool thing, you know, for our university, for national uh, publicity, for our, our guys to be able to talk about someday. Uh, and I think that's the best thing about them is their their maturity, their mindset, their focus on you know, winning the next game, preparing for the next game. And um, you know, we got a big one coming up on Tuesday, be four, fourth game in eight days. 